Hi everybody, I'm going to give you a really quick rundown of how the automatic upgrader is implemented into WordPress themes to provide your customers an automatic upgrade experience. It's pretty simple. Uh, first, let me give you a rundown of what we have. So we have a license that has been purchased and we can see that here on this page, we see that it was for the theme called 2012, the new default WordPress theme. My sample is just uh, using that as, as a base model. We can see here's the license key. We can see that it's been activated on three sites. And if we look at the, the product in EDD, we see it's just a normal download. And then we have our license configuration over here. So our current version is 1.2. These are the theme files that are going to be served as the new upgrade version. And then here's our change log right here. Now, if we go over to our themes page, you'll see that currently we have a new update available. We see that we're running version 0.9 right now, but version 1.2 is available. And you can see that right here. So I can click what's new and it's going to show me the change log that we've entered from our download configuration over on our store page or our store website. And if I click update now, it's going to go ahead and process the update, download the new files, install it and activate the new theme. So we can also see that from the WordPress multi-site page that 2012 is listed as having a new version available, 0.9 installed, 1.2 available. So you can update them from the WordPress updater page or from the themes appearance page. I also have a simple uh, options page set up that just simply allowed me to enter my license key. And what I'm showing you right here is exactly the same thing that you get as the sample theme that you download, which is nothing more than 2012 with the custom updater implemented into it. All right, so let's take a look at the code now. Uh, this is the top of the themes functions.php file. I would recommend that you keep all of this in your functions.php, but you can technically put it wherever you want. So this is the block of code that we're looking at. And the first thing that we have is a constant that we're defining that tells us where the store is located. This is our store URL, which you see right here. And this URL is the place that you have easy digital downloads installed on. The second constant that we have is the name of our product inside of Easy Digital Downloads. So that's 2012. If we go look at our download in EDD, you see the name of it is 2012. So that's what you should set that to. Third, we load our class, which is the EDD SL theme updater, which comes with the software licensing add-on. And we do a quick check just to make sure that this class doesn't already exist, perhaps from another theme that they have installed. And then we also retrieve our license key from the database. In this case, in the sample you see here, I have set up a, an options page to store this license key. This is probably going to be in your main theme settings. And that's what this needs to pull. This is going to retrieve that option from your database to retrieve the current license key that the, use, the theme user has entered into the settings. And then lastly, we set up our class. We instantiate the class with an array of options. Number one is the remote API URL, and that's the URL that we have defined in this constant here. Note, this constant does not need to be named exactly this, and it's actually probably best that you prefix this with a unique prefix to your theme in case anyone else has the same constant set up. Second is the version of the theme that you have installed. Uh, this is the current version that is running on this site, not the version that is available. So this is going to go and compare this version to the version available from the store. Third is the license. This is the license key, which we've retrieved from the database. Fourth is the name of our theme. And this is the name of the theme inside of, 20, inside of Easy Digital Downloads from your store. And then lastly is the author of this theme. So this is either your name or the name of your company. And that's it. It's a couple lines of code that you implement into your theme. You set up the options and then you receive really nice automatic upgrade notifications that look like this, all of it done automatically. Anytime that you change this number in Easy Digital Downloads on your store, it's going to be perceived by every single user running your theme and they're going to receive the automatic upgrade notice.